Okay, so, James wants me to see how Vesa performs after I got spanked by one in my hood video. And like I said in that video, Vesa is just broken. Very silly ship. I just played a quick warm-up game before this and I've already angered a Frenchman, so this should be fun. Right, Vesa, why is it broken? Reason number one, tankiness. Vesa has the tankiest dive bombers in the entire game. Oh, brother! Yup, even higher than the tier 7s. Yes, I know tier 7s get the evasive maneuvers consumable, but that's irrelevant. Flying around with 4k health versus ships that really don't have great AA is it's just brutal. Like, your only threats are, of course, Kali, Doria, and fighter planes, that's about it. <laughs> Everything else is just food. Reason number two, plane speed. Again, fastest at the tier. I clock in at 189 knots, which allows you to rotate planes so quickly. The turn rate is crazy as well, so it's nice and easy to line them uh, AP bombers up. Talking of AP bombers, we're looking at a max potential of 14k damage per drop, which really isn't hard to consistently get. The thing with AP bombers as well is that you can only heal something like 10% of the damage taken by citadels. So 100k citadel damage in Vesta is far more impactful than, say, 200k fire damage in Furious. A few other things, torpedo bombers are decent, still fairly tanky with a good amount of speed and damage. Hitting destroyers is still pretty tricky though with only two torpedoes per drop. Concealment is middle of the pack and the secondaries are garbage. Please don't build into them. Okay, we've got Starscream on here. Tanaka and Fishio must have inspirations for every carrier. Oh yeah, I don't use uh, Corkscrew either. I've honestly felt it never made a difference, so I've gone with fully packed for the extra uh, engine boost cooldown boost thingy. For free to play folks, Geisler is your man. Fishy isn't free to play, so I'd go with... Uh, we really need some more free to play carrier inspirations. I guess you could stick uh, Swirsky on, or Boyd, or maybe even Yamaguchi. Alright, let's go farm some hate mail. Okay, we're on Haven, and this matchmaking is what I like to see. Yes. Of course, we're going to avoid the Kali like the plague, but everything else is food for us. Shame they brought a tier 3 into a tier 5 match, but oh well. Right, let me just uh, position myself real quick. I want to be right behind that island there. Perfect, right. Torpedo bombers first to get a lay of the land. Well, well, there's not much land, so I guess it's lay of the sea. I don't know, okay. Britannia, Fuso, Pensacola on this flank. So no destroyer, but I may as well dump my planes while I'm here. Fuso's looking good. Oh, looks like the fighter locked on. And again, wow. Okay, we're behind this island now. Whoa, Tennessee, where are you going, man? Why do people do this? It blows my mind. He's just leaving the flank. Okay, Pensacola needs to die right now. There's one Citadel. Nice Torp team. And the finish. Right, we're safe. Crazy, crazy Tennessee. Right, time to start grinding down these battleships. Look at his turn rate, man. Wild. There's one. Uh oh. Yup, that's two. Uh, yeah, let's just keep spamming these bombers. Get the finish on this Fuso, then move on to the Britannia. Oh, what is that? They dropped so low and just hit his bow. Right, let's just swing around again. No, 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 no! There you go, that's more like it. Now I should be okay to set it out with Britannia, I'm pretty sure. Yikes, yep. Swing it around for the finish. Lovely, three kills on the board already. Still a lot to do as well. More AP bombers. Okay, there's the Kali. We're not going anywhere near him. Ooh, Bayern. We can do some naughty things to him. There's the Fushun as well. He's not really a threat right now, so I'll just leave him be for now. What? Come on, don't choke this. Oh, 
There's one. Quick before my plane dies. Just one again. More bombers. Do you see how stupid this is? I can just spam four squadrons of bombers all game and never run out. It's so, so dumb. Okay, Bayern is trying to reach his Cali for AA cover. Smart. Gotta get this guy gone quickly. There's one in the high count. Dante's over there as well. One more drop on the buy and I'll go dump these uh, last two planes on the Dante. There's the double citadel. Nice, nice. And then onto the Dante. Pretty sure this guy is like negative AA. Not enough to kill him, but I'll take the Citadel. Right, I think that's game over. This 8 versus 6 is about to turn into an 8 versus 3 very soon. Hopefully we can get one of these kills at least. Ah, oh, Bayern just got chunked pretty hard. Kali's dead. Bayern's dead. Maybe we can get this Dante. Come on, you've got to give me that. No. Right onto the Hawkins. We can get him pretty good too. And there's the Confed. I'll take it. And my battleship's got the Fushion. Honestly, pretty shameless of me to ignore him, but he really wasn't doing anything scary, so... Hawkins will die soon too, so we've got some torpedoes for the Ryujo. I'm fairly certain we can't set that in very well, so yeah. There's a nice tanko damage. Fighter locked on, so straight back to the carrier for some more planes. Bit of an awkward drop. Still get two hits, but of course we can't finish him. The game really didn't want me to get a crack in that game, huh? That's a really strong result, though. Good lord, I didn't even realise we hit 17 Citadels. 2.7k base as well, not bad for a carrier at all. So yeah, Vesta is fucking stupid. If you ever come across one, kill it as soon as you can. Alright guys, take care, see ya.